What's interesting is that I was talking to a friend of mine the other day about why I think hobbies are so important, so crucial, not only to your mental health, but overall beneficial to you. I would say I'm pretty eccentric. Uh, most of my friends know that. And so I do a bunch of shit or I'm, I'm into a lot of shit rather. And I was telling them how I feel like over the past, what is it? October is November. Yeah, since, since January, really since the beginning of this year, I think my hobbies have, I've pushed them to the side. I haven't really given them the time. But for those of us who are in manual labor, i.e. skill jobs, trade jobs, when you're working eight to 12 hours a day, not only are you physically tired, but your mental capacity to either focus on a hobby or do some extensive learning, it's just, it's not all the way there. Because between working that long, you gotta eat, <laughs> shower, sleep, drive, it's a lot. And I think lately I've been toying with finding that balance of how do I still put in the production and still put in the work, but still have the, the, the mental fortitude, the mental capacity to still do my hobbies, either after work or on the weekends and trying to find that balance. I think, <laughs> I think, uh, and consequently, it has made my mental health decline. And since I've had this period off of work, I've taken a sabbatical, if you will, I've had more time to myself to really delve back into my hobbies. I'm talking about writing, journaling, photography, graphic design, video production, which is kind of why I've sort of got back into YouTube, uh, reading a lot of manga, drawing. I have painted the other day. I haven't painted in at least three or four years. Just different things like that that you enjoy doing to yourself. It doesn't have to make you money. I know, I know we're in a time where, yes, it's, the rebuttal might be, yes, it's, it's great to, it's great to delve in your hobbies, but you have bills to pay. And that's understandable. We all have bills to pay. I have bills to pay, you have bills to pay. So I get that notion, and I get that might be a counter argument to what I'm spewing, but I would just suggest if you do have a job where you can take off on the weekends, you know, you have that weekends of solitude or you have time to yourself, I just suggest slowly to start getting back into your hobbies and find out what those are. So let's go back. 2020, COVID era. A lot of us had time to ourselves. We were indoors and we had time for our hobbies. Think about it. What were you doing during 2020? Right? Of course, those of us had essential jobs. We still have to work. Like, yeah. But we had a lot more time to ourselves, right? And honestly, 2020 was like the best time of my life because, man, I, I did so much during that year. I was traveling. I, I went surfing. I went kayaking. I went skydiving. I mean, I was trying any and everything. And it was literally the best. 2020 was the best year of my life. Um, and that's an understatement. If you really knew all the things I did. But I say that to say, focusing on my hobbies and actually trying everything, trying new things, really led to growth, not just mentally, but spiritually. Long story short of what I'm saying is, if you can, try to find some time for your hobbies. Like, man, and do it because you have fun. Do it because you actually enjoy them. Like, <laughs> like you actually enjoy them. Like I have, uh, I have a friend, he, uh, he recently, he likes to crochet and he made me like this. Uh, you might've seen it, these uh, cat ears, like this cat beanie and it's pretty cool. I have a friend who likes to play board games. Recently he taught me how to play this board game called Across the World. And I was surprised, like I surprised myself because I don't know, it's fun. And so, when I'm over at his apartment, I'm like, hey, I'll be like, hey, bro, you want to play the game? He's like, yeah. And like, like lately I've been playing board games like that, uh, just different other games. And I just told myself, you know what? For the rest of my time on this earth, I'm going to try everything that I can. Like, I'm just going to try new shit. Like, that's the only way I feel like you can really know if you like something or not, it, is if you try it. 
no matter what type of judgment you receive, backlash, like just try it and you will be surprised of all the things that you love. Like you'll become eccentric, I think, once you start doing it because you'll start to love so many, so much shit, you know what I mean? Like you'll really, you'll really, uh, you really enjoy it a lot, like me and yeah, man, just one step at a time, obviously, you know, but just try it and regardless again regardless if it makes you money regardless if people talk about you just try it because you genuinely like it you know whether that's starting a youtube channel whether that's baking like i've been getting more into cooking cooking more vegan meals so my message today basically is just go for it try new things and you'll be surprised of all the things that you like